Hello YouTube, this is Jacob from Bonka Bonk Studios and today I'll be showing you how to animate your character from the downloads that I gave you, well download, and the other tutorials that you should have been watching. If you didn't, you should probably go check those out. If not, and you just want to know how to do this, then I guess you can stay for now. So to um, animate your character you have to right click on your rig go to pose mode and you can move his bones and stuff and what you do is here I'm gonna move my camera back a little so we can get a better view oh, there we go so First, I'll show you a quick trick to rotate the camera to uh, like a first person kind of thing. You hit Shift F and you're able to move the mouse to make it look up. And that just helps so you don't have to like rotate the camera on like the Z axis. It's all crazy with that stuff. It's really quick. So. We go to our rig, go to pose mode, and when you uh, start, you're going to want it on the first frame. So if it's not there, you can go and hit, like, say it's like on this frame, you hit shift and then the left arrow key, and that brings it back to the first frame. So. To start off, we want our character, let's say, just standing there. So, we click on whatever bone we want to animate. You hit R to rotate, Y, and then we'll just put his hands on his side. Like that. And, you know what? It looks a little funny. Okay, and then... So his hands go down, maybe just there. That looks good. Okay, and then do the same thing. Rotate on the Y until it's like at his side, and then grab it and just move it on over so it looks like it's at his shoulder position. Okay, that looks beautiful. So, now that we have his arms down, we're going to, it's called insert a keyframe. So, we select all our bones by hitting A. And if you selected none of the bones, that's because you had all the bones selected or A bones selected. So, A either selects all or D selects all. So, we select all, and now we hit I, and... These are our keyframe options. We can say we just want the location, scaling, rotation, or we want all three maybe. So since we don't want to scale them up or anything, and we want them at this rotation and location and scale, we're just going to go with lock, rot, scale. And we click that, and now this is yellow. So that's a keyframe. So now let's go like, uh, let's go 12 frames over. So... Uh, about 24 frames in a second for Blender when it's at default, unless you mess with that. But it should be about 24 or 25 frames a second. So now this is about a half second later. So we're going to want him to, like let's say, take a step forward. So we're going to rotate his legs a little. So let's have his legs go like that. And that. And then we'll rotate his arms on the x-axis by hitting R and X. Okay. And now that's all rotated, but he didn't move anywhere. So we're going to grab him on the Y-axis. And since it's at a block still because we have the magnet setting on, you can hit Control to go as far as close as you need. So we're just going to grab that, hit Control on the y-axis so you can hit y and then just move them about here so it's pretty 
not too far, not too close. We hit lock rot scale. And then you can use the arrow keys to manage, I guess, how many keyframes you go. So we want to go all the way back. So there he is. He walks forward. Beautiful. So let's just make him walk forward a little more. So we'll rotate him, his legs on the x-axis again. And then rotate it back on the x-axis. Oh, wait. Shoot. Sorry, guys. And I forgot to say you have to go, uh, you can't, like, expect it to be on this frame when you animate it. You have to go as many frames as you want forward. So we'll go to, like, 24. I always forget that. And it irritates you if you forget that because then you have to re animate that frame okay so we'll move his arms and legs and there we go now let's grab him on the y-axis hit control so he goes forward a little more lock rod scale by hitting I okay so let's see how that looks real quick so to play our animation, you hit Alt A. So he walks forward. Looks beautiful. So we want to. You can continue in animating as much as you want. Now we're just going to move on to uh, keyframes. So I'm going to go into untextured mode because it's easier to do keyframes without the lighting. So he's just got a basic expression. So uh, the keyframes are on the actual player. So you're going to go to your Steve rig unless you change the name. And we're going to go over here, and we're going to change UV Image Editor to Dope Sheet. And then we're going to go to Shape Key Editor right here. So you just click on that, go Shape Key Editor, and here's all the functions we got. So we can have him move his mouth open or close. So we'll just have it closed a little. And I added mouth left to right, so that makes his mouth go open or closed on the left or right uh, angry eyes up eyes down eyes left eyes right we can look either way um, squinting uh, derp left or right because I was working on derp face from that last animation and derp up and down derp left and right eye size if you want his eyes to get bigger or smaller in case he like is scared or something, and then I was working on smiles and frowns. And to if you want to make your own keyframes, it's pretty easy. So what you do is you go over here and you go to where it says shape keys. So you click on your little vertices things, and you go to shape keys, and then you hit the plus button. And then you name it whatever you want. So uh, I'm going to do eyebrow raise. So what we do is we say eyebrow raise. It starts at basis. Basis is where he's just kind of standing there. So we go into edit mode by hitting tab. And that's what he looks like when uh, eyebrow raise is at zero or at 1 and 0. So I'm going to select the eyebrows. Oh, only one actually, because I can't rotate both of them along an axis. So we're going to go on the y-axis by, let's say, 35 degrees, negative 35 degrees, and then we're just going to raise the eyebrow. Um, oh, that's good. And then do the same for this one except it's going to be rotated positive 30 degrees and then grab till it about matches that uh, I think that's good so now that's there you can say eyebrow raise and it looks beautiful he's like oh what's that over there and then that's the same as the this thing so if we go 10 frames, he walks over, we'll have him look over there. So now his eyes 
Uh, we'll start him off over here. So that inserts a keyframe when you mess with it. Now when he walks over, his eyes look over there, and he's like, oh, what's that over there? And then we can, like, open his mouth more, make it wide so he can pretend he's talking, use that for voice, make his eyes squinty. And so let's say we're done with our rendering. So we go up to, I think because of this, it was 24 frames. So remember how many frames you used. So you go to end and you change that to how many frames you use. So it's 24. So we have this as our basic animation. He looks over there, he walks a little. So now what you do is you go down to output, you click that, you go to a folder, and this is the folder I'll use. Uh, this is where it puts all these pictures of your animation each frame is a picture and remember where you place that so I'm gonna put it right there I'm going to render all my pictures and so I'm only at 50 percent here you can change that to actually you click render animation not picture so I'm at 50 percent uh, so it's pixelated <laughs> it's kinda of funny because Minecraft is pixels but so, if you are doing a final animation, you're going to have to change that to 100%, and then whatever resolution you want, or else it will be pixelated like this. I'm just doing 50% because it's a quick render, and I, I really don't care about this quick render too much. And uh depends how many objects you have in the scene, uh, how many shadows what's going on all these other things how long it will take to render this should only take about 10 minutes five minutes and i'll probably skip it okay uh now that i finished rendering that short animation um i'll show you how to put it into an animation from those png files so what we do is we go up here, click video editing, and now this is black because there's no pictures yet. So we go to add image, and then you go to where you had your images. So mine are here. Let me just select them. If you had them in a specific folder, you could just hit A to select all. Or if you had other stuff, you could just drag your mouse to select the rest of them. And then shift to click any, like, stragglers, I guess. Okay, so there it is. Pretty small. So, what you do is, if it's not selected, like that, you right-click on it, and you hit G. And then you drag it until the first frame over here said 1. So, now that we have that, we're good to go. If you want to add sound, you can. You can do add sound uh, wherever you have your sounds. Uh, Minecraft comes with sounds, so you can get it off of Minecraft. I have my sounds at right there so I'll just do like uh, step up didn't want that one that one step and then we'll do something that sounds cooler so we'll do this stuff there add that gravel sound so I'll just select it all up not holding sh shift down there we go I was holding shift down too long oh. you know what this does not like me Okay, so I'm just going to hit B to get this thing, and then select that, and then drag it over to 1. So, now I have sounds playing. That's pretty loud of a sound. Um, let's change it to, sorry if I hurt your ears, change it to 0.5. Okay, that didn't help at all. So you get the idea. You add your sound, 
then you go back to your default then you go up to the top and hit render animation so then it goes and reads all the pictures in the sequence renderer and that will take not too long it's a lot quicker than rendering because it's just putting all the pictures and the sounds together and when you're done you'll get a beautiful file in oh wait I did something wrong don't do that don't listen to me okay uh, don't want that there okay so if you added sound you're gonna go to here and hit H264 and then go to encoding and then uh, for this it's gonna be an AVI and then audio codec is going to be an mp3 so that makes it so it renders the audio as an mp3 in your avi file so that it's a lot quicker i was wondering why it was taking so long so now we have that good to go there uh, now i gotta find i think it's on my flash drive and then you go to where oh, uh, where is it? Sound? No, it wasn't on sound. You guys should probably tell me where I put this stuff. But, oh, maybe it's here? Yeah, it's here. So, uh, you click on it. We got our <coughs> AVI. It's got sound. I'm going to lower my sound so it doesn't hurt your ears too much. Should have probably did that in the beginning. So, now we wait for it to load. Oh, there he walked. It's a miracle. Okay, and that's how you do it. Uh, obviously, this wasn't an amazing render. It was in lower pixels and stuff like that. But as long as you put this to 100%, it should take longer and be in a higher resolution by a lot. And thanks for watching and subscribe.